the One Epic Run. I signed up for this event shortly after I finished the Uari 100K. I wasn't sure if everything would be healed in time, but I've heard about this event for a while from my friend John Gordon, and so it was time for me to experience the One Epic Run. I'm running with some really good friends today, so no matter really what I do, it'll be a lot of fun. So, so the One Epic Run is a 24-hour race to test your will and endurance, and honestly, to see how crazy you are. The course is a very fast 3.1 miles with only 227 feet of elevation. Shortly after a few instructions from the race director and we're off and running. God dang it. When preparing for this run, the one thing that everyone told me is that the weather is never ideal. And this year, the weather did not disappoint. The rain has uh, started to drizzle. First little sections we've been in have been a little sloppier. So as always on these events, you meet really awesome people. It's Steven, right? Yeah. And so while running with Steven, I got to find out a little bit of his background. He hasn't been running ultras very long, and in 2017, he did his first 50K. And shortly after this conversation, the only time I would see Steven is when he would pass me. And so I knew that Steven was going to be a special one to pay attention to. Remember me telling you about the weather? Okay, well, to give you an update, it has been raining. It's a little chilly, but I'm 21 miles in, three hours and 30 minutes. Still a bunch of smiles, so that's a, that's a positive for sure. Well, the weather really made this fast course extremely difficult. It rained for over 22 hours that this year's one epic run, and the trails became extremely slippery and treacherous, so I didn't carry the GoPro every lap. So that is every lap. And we're only four hours in. 20 more hours of that. <laughs> the aid station, they're not disappointing. Yeah, ramen by the cop. So it's been a few laps since I've uh, videoed. Fariati! Dude! Guys, right now, Jonathan Fariati, the legend. At this moment, I had been running for over eight hours and had just finished my 11th loop on this sloppy course. And this is where the event started getting difficult for me. I had come into this event hoping to reach my first 100 mile distance because I want to buckle. But I knew in these difficult conditions there was no way I was going to reach that goal. So now I have to start managing my expectations. What goal would I be proud of? Going further than I had ever gone before? Or could I simply stop right now and be proud of what I have accomplished? If I can't reach my mileage goal, what is the purpose of still running in these conditions? I was still on pace to do 50 miles in under 12 hours, and I was definitely going to be proud of that. So my question to you is, if you stop short of 24 hours in a 24 hour race, is that a DNF? Leave your answers in the comment. I would love to know. So I was still able to take one step in front of the other, but it became more difficult to leave the aid station. This is what, uh, 10 and a half hours worth of mud and on your shoes look like. I had one more lap to go to reach 50 miles and it looked like I was going to be able to reach 50 miles in under 12 hours. Well, I know it's gonna be, be difficult to see anything, but uh, last lap for me tonight, I'm at 50 miles, or I will be at 50 miles when I finish. I'm very pleased with that effort because it looks like I'm gonna be at 50 in under 12 hours. Uh, this is my last one. And that is Steven, still putting one foot in front of the other like he had just started the race. The conditions through the night got even worse as the temperature dropped and the rain increased. 
As Steven vanished in the dark, I wondered if he would be able to make it. Would he be able to push up against the wall long enough to make it 24 hours? But my race is now over. I just finished my final lap, 50 Wait, miles. No, this is not your final lap. There's time on the clock, get out there. So Angela puts this on every year. Seriously, if you are an ultra runner and you would love to come challenge yourself in a 24 hour race, this is a race to look for. And you also do another race called blind the, pig. the Blind Pig. I will be back for the Blind Pig at some point. You're gonna do more now. Yeah, I know. Get back out there. <laughs> Conditions are, are miserable. It rained like crazy last night. And, uh, I'm very proud of what I did. There's like four people that are still going. They can't make a physical lap um, in time. So what they're doing is they're running the campground. It's a three-tenth loop. So they're, they're running to make it a 24-hour distance. I'm here because there's a gentleman, Steven, who's still out there. He's the winner of the race. Such a legend, dude. Bravo, sir. Bravo. So this is Steven Nobles, and he has been going for the entire time. Currently, right now, it's 23 hours and 30 plus minutes. Uh, and he made it through the torrential rain last night in the mud and has an amazing support crew with him. But they're the best. But not even that. Very the nice. dude is a machine and uh, very, very happy to have ran with you, Stephen. Oh, and for sure. dude, you are an inspiration. And so, yeah. kudos, sir. Thank you. First place female. So the event lived up to its name. This truly was one epic run. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up or even subscribe. Until next time, adios amigos.